Number 10. The Haunted Beach Ginny Dixon Beach in Australia has been called the most haunted beach in the world, turning some people's perfect holiday getaway into a nightmare of horrors. Visitors to the beach have reported seeing a young woman standing ominously at the side of the road as if looking for a ride. According to Central Coast News, some have even tried to give this young woman the ride she's looking for, only to realize they're not talking to a woman in the passenger seat. She was never there at all. They had picked up a ghost from the side of the road. The police have apparently received reports of this exact thing happening more than once, and it's not a new phenomenon either. The haunted beach has been terrifying locals for over 40 years. What's truly interesting about the haunted beach is that there's only one ghost responsible for the terror that goes on here. She was apparently beaten by a group of young men in the 1970s and left on the beach to die. Ever since, she's been terrorizing mostly male visitors and has allegedly been responsible for driving some people to madness. Some locals claim the woman's name was Ginny Dixon and the beach was named after her, but this has not been confirmed. And if you don't believe the stories, just head down to Ginny Dixon Beach and wait for nightfall. Maybe she'll find you. Number 9. Attacked by Dogs A family's relaxing trip to the beach turned into a violent incident of teeth and blood after a vicious dog attack. The incident happened in April during the Easter holiday. John and Tammy took their two young children and their puppy to Southport Beach. When they arrived, one of the first things they noticed was that a dog was running around off its leash and that it looked kind of dangerous, but they didn't really think too much of it. The family unpacked their stuff, they headed out to the sand, and within just minutes of settling down for some sun and relaxation, the same dangerous looking dog that they saw earlier came out of nowhere and bit Tammy on the wrist. Unprovoked, the aggressive dog tried to rip Tammy's arm off. The dog also attacked their small puppy, tearing it apart like a piece of raw meat. When John tried to intervene and get the dog off his wife, it was so strong that it broke his finger. Everyone survived the attack, but their young puppy was never the same again. He had to be placed on medication and painkillers and has yet to get off the sofa. He's like a traumatized war veteran. The kids were totally fine. Tammy eventually recovered from her injuries, and as for the rabid dog, it apparently got off totally free after its owner secured the ferocious beast and then ran away with it. Number 8. Deadly Shark Attack An American woman snorkeling in the Bahamas had a pretty bad time after being murdered by a shark. She had gone to the Bahamas with her family as part of a beach vacation. But, according to ABC News, she was attacked by a gang of angry sharks and killed. Investigators have said that they think there were at least three sharks involved in what seems to be a malicious and possibly even targeted attack. The victim's name was Jordan Lindsay, a 21-year-old girl from California. She was in the Bahamas with her whole family, with the majority of them swimming on the beach while Jordan and her mother were at another part of the island snorkeling. The rest of Jordan's family had no idea that on the other side of the island, Jordan was being ripped to shreds by sharks. But her mother certainly knew, as she was only a few feet away from Jordan when the sharks attacked. Jordan's mother was forced to watch as her daughter had her arms ripped right off by one of the sharks while the other two bit huge chunks of her legs and buttocks, and the water turned red with blood. Even though Jordan was transported to the hospital, it was too late. She was already dead. Talk about a bad day at the beach. Number 7. Stabbed at the Jersey Shore At Point Pleasant Beach, New Jersey, someone was stabbed to death after getting into a brawl with a teenager from Newark. The teen has since been charged with two counts of attempted murder. The incident happened in the area of 300 Boardwalk. Police were called in to deal with a violent situation. When they arrived, they discovered that a fight had broken out between two groups of people, both of whom had presumably gone to the beach to relax and be left alone. Well, one of the people involved in the fight was packing a knife. He attacked two people with that knife, stabbing them repeatedly. By the time the police got there, two young males had suffered multiple stab wounds and needed to immediately be transported to the local hospital. Luckily, they survived the ordeal and were last reported as being in stable condition. What makes this incident so much more disturbing is that it happened on a family beach. 
This is a place where people go with their kids to get a weekend break. But if you're in New Jersey, it's also a place where people go to stab people in broad daylight. Have you ever experienced something crazy on the Jersey Shore? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Number 6. Buried Alive A young man in his 20s was recently arrested after being accused of trying to bury his wife alive at a beach in California. Something straight out of a 1990s Eminem song, this guy allegedly dragged his wife to the ocean and tried to kill her. The woman miraculously managed to escape and run away, at which point she was discovered on the sidewalk by an ordinary citizen. Paramedics quickly arrived at the scene and transported the woman to a trauma center in San Diego. The man who took his wife to the beach to murder her was then found hiding in the backyard of a random home in the area. Let's back this up a bit. A couple visited the beach earlier in the evening, probably as one of those ordinary things that couples do. But then they got into an argument. The husband got angry and started to beat up his wife. In a fit of rage, he dragged her all the way to the water to try to throw her out to sea, but then decided to bury her alive in the sand instead. Of course, he didn't get down on his hands and knees and start digging a shallow grave in the sand. Instead, the guy used a hole that had probably been dug earlier in the day by kids, seeing as this is, after all, a family beach. The violent husband threw his wife into the hole and started shoving sand over her head to fill it up. It was lucky she managed to scramble out of the sand and run for help before she suffocated. Number 5. The Hungry Dingo On Fraser Island, a child was attacked and almost killed after wandering away from his family on Orchid Beach. What exactly attacked the poor toddler? Only two years old at the time? It was a hungry dingo. According to the report from The Guardian, paramedics claimed the boy was lucky that he hadn't sustained more serious injuries. He had been savagely mauled by the dingo and only managed to survive because neighbors in the area where the attack took place heard the boy screaming and rushed outside. If it hadn't been for their quick thinking, the kid probably would have been eaten by a dingo. Of course, this is just another thing that you can add to the long list of reasons to never visit an Australian beach. If you don't get eaten by a shark or stung by a jelly, now a dingo will run away with your toddler and try to eat it. The child reportedly suffered wounds to his legs and arms, and he even had a pretty nasty laceration on the back of his head. He had to be flown to the nearest hospital along with his mother, leaving the rest of this horrified family to try and enjoy the remainder of their beach vacation. The dingo? Well, it got away. Number 4. The Angriest Octopus A man in Australia came across yet another horrifying animal while at a local beach. But it wasn't a dingo or a shark. Instead, it was a vicious octopus that had murder on its mind. The incident occurred when the man was swimming in Geograph Bay. He found the octopus in shallow water trying to take down a seagull. The octopus literally came out of its home, deep in the water, to bully birds on land. Lance Carlson managed to capture the angry octopus on video, but unfortunately, he got a little too close for the octopus's comfort. The octopus didn't like the look of him, so it scuttled away back to its garden. But shortly after, Lance went swimming and came across the home of the octopus. It was a crab graveyard where the unruly creature had apparently posted up. Angry to see the man again, and at its home no less, the octopus attacked. It lashed out with its many arms and struck Lance on the neck. During the attack, Lance's goggles got fogged and he couldn't see what was happening. All he knew was that he was being brutally attacked by an angry octopus, with pain shooting all across his neck. Thinking quickly, Lance retreated. He managed to get back to shore, at which point he discovered that he was covered in red marks from being beaten by the cephalopod. He treated the stings and sores with vinegar and learned his lesson. Stay out of octopus territory. Number 3. Attacked and Robbed A family from Belleville visiting Nordhook Beach have had a pretty nasty experience. There were three members of the family walking along the beach at a perfectly reasonable time of day taking in the sights and enjoying a bit of relaxation, really just minding their own business. Out of nowhere, criminals attacked and robbed them, even stabbing a 54-year-old woman until she nearly died. 
The criminals stab the woman in the head, making it extremely lucky that she's alive today. Nordhook Beach is in Cape Town, South Africa. It is sometimes a nice place to be, but this has turned into an issue, seeing as it's very popular with tourists from Europe and America. This makes it a prime place for criminals to hang out. Previous to the poor woman being stabbed in the head, a tourist from Egypt was also stabbed at the same beach in January. And in that same month, at least nine people were attacked at a nearby nature reserve by two men who pretended to be hikers. The moral of the story here is that you're not safe on the beach, in the bay, on a hiking trail, or really anywhere ever. Number 2. Kidnapped in Bali A tourist in Bali just trying to enjoy his holiday time on the beach was kidnapped and swindled out of thousands of dollars in what has been reported as a horrifying scam that purposely targets tourists on vacation. But just wait until you see how complicated this bizarre scam really is. It all began with a New Zealander in Bali. He was with his family trying to relax on the beach when he was approached by a man for a friendly chat. The friendly chat turned violent and somehow the man from New Zealand suddenly ended up in a locked car being driven to a remote location. At this remote location, he was forced to partake in a game of cards. Naturally, he lost the card game and was forced to pay a startling sum of money, about $2,000. After taking the horrified tourist to an ATM and forcing him to withdraw as much money as possible, they left him alone. The whole ordeal lasted about four and a half hours. The robbers put the tourist in a taxi and let him go back to his hotel. But instead of any kind of resolution happening after the man contacted the local embassy, they simply told him to go home as soon as possible. The local police didn't care. The man and his wife no longer felt safe, and they called off their beach vacation early, paying an extra $2,000 to change their flights. That was probably the last vacation the couple will ever go on. Number 1. A Body at the Beach Three teenage boys found a bit more than they bargained for when they showed up at the beach to waste away a Sunday afternoon. The teenagers found a shoe. Being the courteous teenagers that they were, they went to dispose of the shoe in the garbage bin. What they discovered in the garbage bin would ruin their entire day. Nestled inside of the trash at the bottom of the garbage can was a pile of human bones. The police were called to the scene at Burunda Beach, Australia. They matched the DNA of the bones found by the teenagers to a missing woman. The missing woman was Melissa Caddick, and she had vanished three months previous from her mansion in Sydney. Nobody had any idea where she went. That was because she had been a pile of bones in a dumpster. This was one of the most high-profile disappearances in Australia in recent years. Melissa Caddick had allegedly conned her friends and family out of over $20 million making her something of a pariah among her own social group. But despite the fact that Melissa had all kinds of enemies, the police couldn't for the life of them figure out what happened to her or if she was even murdered. As of now, absolutely nobody has been held responsible for the woman's bones being found at the beach. Thanks for watching. What was your scariest trip to the beach like? Tell me in the comments and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more wild videos from the channel.